Zotero for Mac, capturing article citations and full text. I'm getting ready to do some research, and so in Zotero, in the left-hand panel, I've created a folder and titled it Imaginary Companions, which is going to be my topic that I'm researching. So everything that I capture now, since this is uh, highlighted, will go into that folder. So here's my search for Imaginary Companions in the Psych Info database, and there's my list of results. And let's go down and capture number two first. Now number two shows us that it has HTML and PDF full text in this database. As you see the icons and the links right there. What I want to do is go here, click on the title, And that takes me to the full entry screen for that article. This is the best spot to capture the citation and sometimes the full text for an article. So I'm going to go up to the capture icon. I'm going to click it and when the saving to window pops up, you can see the PDF icon pops up so we know that we captured the full text as well as the citation and that both of them are in my folder in Zotero. Let's try another one. I'm going to go down to number three, and you'll notice right away that number three is a little bit different. We have a search for full text button and a link. This is telling us that the full text for this particular article is in a different database. And for these, what you can do is click here to go to the part of the full entry screen that gives you the link to the database where the full text lives. And this one is Taylor and Francis Social Science and Humanities Library. So I'm going to click on that. And on this screen, now I'm in the other database, I'm going to go up and click the capture icon. And I'm going to pay attention to what comes up in the Saving To window, and I did see that PDF icon again, so I can tell that I have both the citation and the full text of this article. And let's go back and do one more. Let's do number four. Again, we've got the Search for Full Text button. And I'm going to click there. And on this screen, we've got a different database. This is Wiley Journals. I'm going to click through to that database. And when I come up and click on the capture icon here, I'm going to wait for the uh, little icons to become clear rather than grayed out. So I know that Zotero's done. Sometimes it takes a little while for it to capture. Oh no, it's telling me that it did not get the full text. Darn. Well, this is the HTML full text. That's usually where you land when you hop from database to database. Oh, here's the PDF down here. So when I click this, Here's the article, there's the full text, and here I'm going to have to just download this separately. Okay, so there it goes into my download folder. I've already captured the citation. I need to bring those two items together. So, back in Zotero, that last article is highlighted. And you can see here the difference among the three that I've captured. The first one and the third one have the little PDF icons, but that one that I just did has a little blue dot, which means that I just got a snapshot, a picture of that uh, page that I was on. So what I'm going to do is leave this open and get into my Downloads folder. And I'm going to click and drag the full text that I saved separately 
onto that citation. And now the blue dot is gone, and I have the PDF full text.